Welcome to Travel Discovery. I'm Lisa and I will be your host. Today we are in the Philippines visiting the famous Strawberry Farms, which is located in La Trinidad, which is the capital of Benguet Province, which is just a few kilometers outside of Baguio City. So as you arrive, you have this giant strawberry rock that awaits you or greets you. Uh, various vendors selling pictures, fresh vegetables, of course, strawberries, gifts, souvenirs. Parking is free. You can also get there by taxi or jeepney. So what exactly is the Strawberry Farms? Well, because of the cooler weather that exists in the Baguio area in this province area of Benguet, strawberries grow here unlike the rest of the Philippines. So you will actually see native Filipinos coming to this tourist attraction to enjoy the beautiful view of the strawberry farms and buy, of course, strawberries. So because of this province's cool climate and highlands, it's very conducive to harvesting farm produce and fruits like strawberries. Enjoy the beautiful view when you visit here and also you get a feeling of how extensive the farms are. So let's take a look around so you can get a closer look. You can do strawberry picking here. It costs about eight US dollars per kilo of strawberries or 500 pesos. You don't have to go strawberry picking. Again, there is no entrance fee. You can walk around and just enjoy the view and enjoy the farm. It is a very pleasant experience and the farmers are eager to share some harvesting techniques. The best season for strawberry picking in La Trinidad is every March to April. So we really came at a great time. If you need any assistance, just look for the farmers holding signs that say strawberry picking if you are wanting to know more about the techniques or do any picking. It is best to visit the strawberry farms in the morning. The sun's golden light truly does add this glowing ambiance across the field, which is captivating. So again, if you are interested in actually picking the strawberries, you can, they will give you a basket, but you can just buy them. It's about 200 pesos per container of strawberries. There's also, as you can see here, fresh fruits and vegetables at very reasonable prices. And you can also enjoy delicious treats like ice cream. There are many vendors that are selling ice cream cones, strawberry, and usually avocado other flavors for just a few pesos. There's also a strawberry taho drink that many enjoy. It's a nice Filipino snack and it's covered with brown sugar syrup, also strawberry syrup topped with fresh strawberries. So it's a soy based drink. As you can see, there are many strawberry themed souvenirs. You can also buy strawberry jam, all fresh. There's peanut brittle and other sweet treats. And of course, many, many souvenirs for the kids. So this is a nice family trip. If you're looking to do something while you're in the Philippines, do not overlook the strawberry farms. And of course, try the amazing strawberry ice cream. So we'll take a walk down here. You can see the different stalls. Uh, there's sweet corn treats and drinks that are being sold, sunglasses, belts, bags, again, fresh fruits and vegetables and plenty of souvenirs. So it's really an inexpensive way to enjoy the province of Benguet and also the Baguio City area. So this is, again, a spot do not overlook. See you next time on Travel Discovery to see what we will discover next. And also, please subscribe to our podcast, the Travel Discovery Podcast. We'd appreciate the support. I'll leave the link in the description. Happy travels, everyone.